everyone's Valerie. Um, why am I looking at my bed full of stuff right now? Well, it's because I just did a big haul. And I was filming taking everything out of the boxes, but when I went to check the camera, there was nothing on there, so it wasn't filming. So I've taken things out of the boxes, and I, and I just wanted to sort of lay them out on the bed. I haven't gone through everything 100% yet. Um, there's a lot of little boxes and things here that I haven't gone through. What it was, it was an estate sale that I helped out with. I did buy about $13 worth of things, and then the rest um, were given to me, or, you know, when they were giving them away free at the end, they just wanted to get rid of it. I took a bunch more stuff, so let's have a look. Some of these things I'll be seeing for the first time, and some of them I've already seen. So these are the pile of books. This one I got for a friend. And then these are some little classic novels I picked up. And some little books I can use for junk journaling. And then a couple of books I got for myself. Some more books for junk journals. And... This one I picked up for my daughter. Confusable words. Thought she'd get a kick out of that. Some more books. Uh, another classic. It's got a bunch of her stories in that one. And then a couple of old books. This bag is a whole mosh of other bags of wool and bits of wool that were in the boxes and I kind of put them all into one big bag so a, it's quite a big bag there let's just go back a little bit so you can see a nice big bag of wool and then this was a bag of darning yarn and whenever you see these old darning yarns have these things here nab them because when they, uh, you know, like every year, they'll put out new colors uh, so you can keep up to date on your colors when you're uh, darning wools and things. Of course, it's not going to give you 100% of wool colors that are out there, but it's going to do its best. Okay, then some books, little crocheting and knitting books. Sewing books, patterns, a bunch of cross stitch, some quilting. That's interesting. And this one here I thought was rather interesting. Um, this is just some sort of handmade book she made out of felt or had given to her. But inside we see some like tracing paper. It's a fabric tracing paper. Here's another sheet of it here. And no doubt it has to do with these patterns that are in the back. So you can trace them. It's probably the iron-on type of paper. So once, it's, once you trace it onto the back of your patterns, you can then iron it. So if, you've, if you bought like the iron-on transfers, uh, and they've run out of the ink after a while, they don't transfer, you can trace this stuff onto your pattern pattern, and it'll build it back up again so you can iron it on now I'm pretty sure that's what that does not a hundred percent but I'm pretty sure so there's some more patterns back here in the back of the book as well and then some grid paper so I thought that was kind of interesting and then here are all the knitting needles that came that she had in there so I've got this so we have here we have a, a little booklet with all the different range of these type of needles all the different sizes all the way up to the biggest size that'll be fun to work with I can make some nice little afghans or something like that over the winter this little zippered pouch has some interesting interesting knitting paraphernalia in here 
So I'm going to set my camera up so that I can use both hands here to do this with. Okay, so where were we here? Okay, so I showed you this little booklet here. Okay, now inside this little pouch, we have... Well, I haven't looked at all of these things in here yet, so a lot of this is going to be a surprise for me. Oh, a nice big needle. That's pretty cool. A very vintage measuring tape. A very, very vintage measuring tape. And these, I'm not 100% sure what these are. Possibly they go on the ends of needles for pushing through fabrics. Not a hundred percent sure. I have to look that one up. Okay. What else is in here? Ooh. How about I move some of this out of the way? Okay. Let's dump this out. So we have crocheting hooks. We have a um, crocheting or knitting knitting needle gauge and a broken one look at these beautiful knitting needles oh these are for holding your um, knitting parts that's what that's for lots of crochet hooks and some more knitting needles here and speaking of knitting needles all of these Knitting needles in here. So now I can go through and organize my knitting needles with these ones. I don't have a lot. Most of what I have are in this size and a little bit bigger. So this is nice. Oh, look at these beauties. This will be nice. I can do lots of things with those now. There's some more. And this is a whole bunch of, she also did some cruel work and cross stitch. So a lot of different wools for that. These would be great for making tags and whatnot for journaling. And then when we move down to the end here, okay, here we start getting into sewing things. She obviously did a lot of sewing. So we have a whole bunch of fabrics here. Um, some nice fabrics in here. This is actually suede, real suede. And then there's some velvet and some tulle and some flannel, some linen, um, lots of white cottons and cotton polyester. There's some black velvet. And this is actually an iron press cloth, which I'll be putting in a separate bag. And then a whole bunch of different creams and whites in there. And then here we have tissue and facing, interfacing fabric all together. So I'll put that in a separate baggie as well. And then some patterns. And I'll move you back down here a little bit more. Now this was, is, um, an iron pressing cushion that you would put inside sleeves and whatnot. And she did have a mini iron board there with an iron, but I already have my own, so I didn't grab those. But I didn't add this because this is great for inside your, um, your sleeves. She had some scissors, and this one looks like it has grass and stuff on it, so I assume she used this as an outdoor scissors. And these are possibly what she used in her sewing and knitting. Now, this, I do not know what is in this bag. I haven't looked. So we have some cross-stitch fabric. And some bits of just thread in there. 
And then some very vintage, fine crocheted lace. Looks like she probably took this off of a, a tablecloth of some kind because it's all done in this big rectangle. So I think I'm going to wash this up because it looks pretty grubby. So anyways, I'll give you a good close-up shot of that. Isn't that beautiful? That is just gorgeous. But I'm going to wash that one up for sure. Okay, what else do we have here? This is one of the many containers of sewing things. Let's see what's in this one. Okay, odds and ends of needles. There. Straight pins. More straight pins. This looks like, I do not know what this is. Oh, it's some sort of a bombin. I don't know what this is. It could be an attachment for something. Instant Tailor Marker. Well, that's something that's new to me. I'll have to look that one up on the internet. And hooking for rugs. These things are for making your um, snaps for jeans and whatnot. And another one of those rulers. And this, I'm not 100% sure what that's for. But again, I think it has to do with... Um, no, you know what this is? This is a scissor sharpener, I believe. And an empty pill container. And this pill container contains brass pins. Little brass pins. Huh. A nail thing and another needle. And a very interesting device. It has something to do with sewing, but I have no idea what. Okay. So that's that box. Very interesting. I must say, especially this. I want to find out what that is. Hopefully I can post it on this video. Okay, so that's that box. Oh, now we have a bag. What's in this bag? Cross stitch papers, waste canvas. Some seam binding. Different bias tapes and seam bindings. Some more there, some more thread. And some odds and ends of sewing motions, which we love, don't we? Hooks and eyes, Velcro, very lovely. I'll have lots of things to add to the sewing box that I just finished making out of fabric postcards. Here's some elastics and it looks like elastic thread. So she kept all her elastics in a separate bag, so that's nice. Organized. Two pins that came out of something and another pair of snipper scissors. Good to have by your sewing machine. These are on and ends of pieces of fabrics. Looks like she kept from pants that she hemmed. A lot of people do that because that way if you uh, get a tear in your pants or something and you need to do some repairs, you have matching fabric. Okay, so what is in this box? Let us see. Self-threading needles. So, oh, okay. I know how that works. Put the needle down through the top. 
instead of having to fight with trying to thread them through a little hole. Good idea. More Velcro. This looks like some iron on. Um, maybe hemming material or it could be one of those uh, labels that you um, iron on and then you write on with a, an indelible marker and then here we have some I think these are for upholstery yeah so your nice little doilies and whatnot that you put on the arms of your upholstery use those little hook things to keep them in place Otherwise, they're sliding off all over the place. Okay, so that's that box. <sighs> Another box. Empty. Oh, nice big needles. Ooh, those are nice. I like these. These are great for darning. And <laughs> some more needles on a magnetic strip. Cool. Now, here is a bag, which again, I have no idea what is inside this. Ooh, it looks like buttons. Let me see. I'm going to grab something to duck these on so they don't go through with those. My crocheted copper there. Ooh. Lots of great buttons. Lots of buttons. More things to put in that sewing box. Oh, look at all those. Some nice shell buttons in there. Some green ones, pretty green ones, pretty blue ones. Oh, wow, those are nice. Pink ones. Some that are sewn on a piece of velvet. Oh, these are... These are very vintage. She obviously knew that because she attached it to this piece of velvet. Or maybe she bought it that way to use on projects. Orange. Lovely. Very lovely. Very nice. So, those are the buttons. Okay, what's next? There's another box here. It says Singer on it. And we have some tubing tape. Turns, button loops, spaghetti straps, strings, ties, belts, and other decorative trims. Insert cording, turn tubing at the same time with the same tape. Turns, bias tubing, right side out in seconds. Cool. Skirt closures. Snaps, more snaps, um, very interesting measuring, stick on measuring tape, and you have to be really precise. Some more snaps and some more snaps. So this measuring tape is probably to stick on, make sure your snaps you are putting in exactly the right place. Imagine. Well, how did we get all that in there? And any more sewing? Yes. I think there's more sewing in this one and this one. Okay, now I think I did have a look in here. Oh, yeah, these are just bobbins. Lots of bobbins. That's great. Love bobbins. And this little box. Oh, more needles. Oh, these are nice big darning needles. Or if we're working in her cruel. More needles. And some big snaps. More needles, some thread, some more thread, more measuring tape, seam ripper, a thimble, 
I believe this is a hem clip measurer. More buttons in there, another seam ripper, a needle threader, which I'm always losing my needle threaders. I don't know where they go to. I'll sort out all these things into um, separate piles later. Now, this will do. Just put them in here. There we go. And we're not done with the sewing. There's another box here. Look at this. This one has beautiful pin cushion with all the pins in it, which is great because I never have enough of, enough of those. Um, this is one of those electric um, scissors. I'll take it out of the bag. I've never used one of these before. My mother-in-law had one, though. She seemed to like it. Give that a try. It actually works. Now we have some pins, some more pins, safety pins. We have that. This looks like that iron-on hemming material, which I used a lot when I did sewing. Some little plastic pins. A ruler. A set of pinking shears. Um, this looks like just gauze. Sterile gauze. More pins. Some labels. She had labels made up for uh, with her name on it. Ooh, pair of nice sewing scissors. And another ruler measuring ruler some more thread here's the little tool that goes with the little snaps attaching them to your garment this is a little mini scissors to keep in your sewing machine or in your little um oh you could keep this in your needle book you could keep it on your sewing machine drawer, you could keep it where you have your cross stitch, more snaps, and then here we have another measuring tape, some tool, and some ribbon, and some more elastic, little crocheted piece here, and Taylor's chalk with even a little handy handle for them. And a little brush for erasing it. Okay, that's Taylor's chalk. And then odds and ends of pins and buttons on the bottom here. Another measuring tape. And then here, I'm not sure what's in this one. We're going to dump this one out. Right here. And this is full of fasteners, different types of fasteners. Okay. I'll be able to put lots of extra little things in that little mini sewing box that I just made on my last video I put up. can add a lot of these things to it. Come on. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put some of these things back in here. Okay, so we're back to the office where we were. Uh, first thing I noticed were these envelopes. So I did put these aside on the first day. This might have been the some of the things I actually paid for. And then there were these really wonderful wrapping papers. Which I thought were really pretty. This is actually a gift bag. This will go 
a whole series of bird and flower wrapping pieces. These are to and from labels. Very pretty. And I love this wrapping paper. It's got the animals on it. Gorgeous. And some gold, some more flowers, clocks, and butterflies. Then there was this holder. I might just put all of these uh, nice wrapping papers inside, I think. Some more little envelopes. And then there was this big step. Oh, oh. More envelopes. I'll have to coffee dye these ones. And this big stack of papers. So I have some nice big wide folders, different colors. Lots of different colors. type of folders. Ooh, look at that. That's nice. I like that. I can make use this just for a junk journal cover just the way it is. And you've got a couple little tuck areas there. And then some more even unopened. Some green. brown and then we have dividers which I need desperately some of the binder things I'm working on and then I I also paid for these too because I thought it was worth it some calligraphy I did get a bit of uh, calligraphy tools and one book this book I thought was quite different so now I have two calligraphy books, and then this is calligraphy parchment paper. Really nice. Yay! <laughs> Quite excited about that. And then lastly, we have some rulers. So, just put something down here so you can see it better. There's that one. And then this nice metal one. This is nice if you're cutting with, um, uh, a blade, a sharp uh, blade, like a exacto knife or something. And then we have another ruler. And then there is a great big long one, still in my car, but it's it's like five feet long, and it's a metal one also. And then I don't know, this one I did throw in there. It's a zester that'll go in the kitchen things. And this I don't know how it ended up in the boxes, but it's in there. I have to figure something to do with that. And then this is a mirror finish spray. Cleans and protects your instruments finish. Oh, instruments. Oh, that's right, too. You, they were selling a whole bunch of violin books, and they had all kinds of music um, CDs and um, tapes that were all classical. The person was very much into playing uh, classical violin and was probably in an orchestra because of all the types of music he had. So no doubt this was for his violin or her violin. So this is great. We have a, um, we have two, let me think. We have two guitars, a ukulele, and a mandolin so <laughs> it will definitely be used okay that's my haul that was six boxes of stuff from this estate sale so I'm going to be busy sorting this out now and trying to find a place for my I do have a storage locker and it's half empty 
and my house is too full so I'm gonna have to start rearranging some things so I hope you enjoyed this do check out estate sales they can be um, loaded with useful things if you're looking to increase your stash I hope you enjoyed this and we will get you next time bye